I started the Kindness Rock Project approximately two and a half years ago. And I started it at a time when I was going through some transition in my life. I had um, lost my parents in my early 20s, and I am raising three teenage daughters, which can be very challenging. When I was walking on the beach, I would be very contemplative, have kind of conversations with my mom and dad as I was walking, and I would ask for signs and messages from them. So I would look for things like heart-shaped rocks or pieces of sea glass. And when I found one, it would just make me feel so great, like I was supported by something, you know, bigger than myself. One day when I was walking on the beach, I was looking around at all the people that were walking, similar to me, with very similar expressions on their face. Many people looked distant, you know, they, they wanted to be left alone. I thought, you know, maybe I could just leave them a sign and a message as well that could help them during maybe a difficult or challenging or transitional time in their life. I don't know what compelled me, but there was a Sharpie magic marker on the counter and I grabbed it and I put it in my coat pocket and as I was walking up the beach, I started writing little messages. There was something that day that just made me feel really happy that I was doing that for other people. A friend of mine texted me a picture that night and said, I found this rock today on the beach. Was this you? And she said, well, if you did, I just want to let you know that it made me very happy. It was at that moment that I'm like, huh, I guess I'm on to something. I started painting and dropping a lot more rocks. My daughter said to me, Mom, you know, you really should put a hashtag on the back of each rock and, and give it a name. And I said, let's do it. Let's put a hashtag. People began taking pictures of that and uploading it on social media. And then they would go back to their communities and they would start it there. That's when I realized the power behind this project. So the first um, messages that I wrote on rocks were very simple. And they were messages that I would have wanted to find. Be kind. The answer lies within. Or you've got this. Someone comes and they find a rock and they pick it up and they look at the message on the rock and they relate to it. Once they realize that there's a human being on the other end of this rock that took the time to write that message and they understand you, the beauty is that connection with someone that they may never meet, yet they feel like they're supported and understood and they're not alone. One message at just the right moment can change someone's entire day, outlook, or life. And that's what this project does.